The skull covers the cranium. Its attachment extends from the supraorbital margin to the highest knocker line posteriorly. That is the highest knocker line. Supraorbital margin. Then at the side, from the ear and then zygomatic arc. The scalp is composed of five layers. The skin, connective tissue, aponeurotic with epicranial muscles, loose areolar tissue, and pericranium form the aponeurotic tissue of the cranium. That's the scalp. The skin contains the hair. The connective tissue layer is where we have the blood vessels. The aponeurotic layer is where we have the muscles. Movement of the scalp against the bone occur at the loose areolar tissue. And then the periosteum of the bone form the pericranium. So separation of the scalp occur at the space between the loose connective tissue and then the pericranium. So you make incision across the scalp at the level of this occipital protuberance and extend to the side about two finger breadth above the ear. So that's the ear, you have two finger breaths above the ear. And then come to the, the anterior aspect of it. Also about two finger breaths above the supra orbital margin. Then with blunt dissection, the scalp can be separated at the level of the loose areola tissue. And the scalp can be degloved completely off the scalp. Now we will expose the cranial vault or the carverium. The carverium form the roof of the cranial cavity where we have the brain. You can identify the following on the external surface of the carverium. That's the frontal bone, bragma. That's the fused anterior fontanel, the corona suture. It's the joint between the frontal bone and then the parietal bone. We have the parietal eminence, the lambdoid suture. That is the lambda. Then we have a midline suture, sagittal suture. Then you can have small opening. That is parietal foramen. So the two foramen that provide passage for emissary vein. Sometime in the lambda suture, you will find intersutural bone, warbian bone. That is the squamous part of the occipital bone, occipital squama.
then externa occipita protuberans. Highest noca line. Superior noca line. And inferior noca line. Okay. Occipita crest. Externa occipita crest. Right. So on the lateral side. We have temporal line. So superior and inferior temporal line. 